Welcome to this session. I'm going to show you how to use the OneNote Class Notebook app uh, that comes with Office 365 as an extra um, add-in. So uh, I'm just going to open it from the app launcher and I get to this start screen. So I can create a new class notebook. I can add or remove students, add or remove teachers, and also get some notebook links of previous notebooks I've created. And there's also a nice handy user guide on here as well. Uh, so if you click create a class notebook, um, so I first have to put a title in there. For, so, you know, this would normally be the name of the class or the group that you're teaching. So put that in there. You then get um, an overview of what the little bits that it'll create for you. So collaboration spaces, the teacher can edit the content um, and, the and the students can edit the content. So people can work on it together at the same time using Office Web Apps. Uh, that you've then got the content library so teach can add content but the student can just see that content and then you've got the student private notebooks where the students can see only their own notebook so i can give a teacher permission to use this class notebook i think i'm already registered so i don't actually have to put anything in here i just press that next and for the student names if you've got a csv file um, with all the names separated by a semicolon or just a, you know a, a notepad file with them all in there you can just copy and paste them straight into here you don't have to put people's names in individually uh, i'm just going to add a few individually to here so on this next screen you've got the different components it will create and you can add more to these if you want to these are just tabs in the OneNote file um, it doesn't do anything um, special, it's just literally a new tab for those different areas. So I'm just going to create a new one for my assignments and press next. So you can get a preview of it, so you can see the teacher's view of it, where you see all the students. And you can see a student view where they've got their own um, custom page. So this will then run and it will create the, the OneNote class notebook file. So once you've created it, um, you can then share it. You've got um, uh, you can either open it in the online version of OneNote or you can open it in the desktop application. And there's also a class notebook add-in uh, just to give you that extra functionality in the desktop version that you can download. And you've got the links on the screen here. So normally you can you know, right click on that, open in OneNote online, copy the link address and you can always uh, email it to your students so they can access that file. And if you click on open it in OneNote online, it'll open up inside the browser so again, you don't need the OneNote application to edit it on it, but if you want to add things like videos and some more rich content, you probably want to use a desktop application. And you can see you've got these sections made down the left hand side with the slides. So you have a, a welcome area that just shows you how to use it. It's got a few resources on um, how to use OneNote, um, especially in the, uh, for teacher, teaching and learning. And then under that, you've got the collaboration area which is an area that both students and teachers can access and they can edit and work on documents together. And you've got the content library and this is where the teacher can put on content for the students. And then you've got the individual student areas. And again, students can only see their own area. But logged in as a teacher, I can see everybody's areas. And you can see that extra area that I've created as well. And these are just blank notepads, so a bit like an exercise book that they can you know, type in add some rich content into there as well, some videos and some pictures. So that's a quick overview of the class notebook for Office 365. Um, you can get in touch with us and we can help you provision these so you don't have to manually create them. Um, but thanks for watching.